people came from the Prime Minister's house and told me that the Prime Minister had been taken away by the soldiers at night. The Prime Minister was killed as a result of the coup. Later, we got to know that Sadona had been killed. I came to the house. There was nobody. And we looked uh, to see where, whether we could locate the Premier, having heard that she had been killed. But luckily, we sighted him thrown away like uh, a carcass. Kintela, uh, our friend and political ally, was also killed. It has what we call fate. Maybe that is the history of Nigeria, that is the fate of Nigeria, which was very, very unfortunate. Shagari, well, uh, Alaji Shehu Shagari was then a very young uh, minister, probably one of the youngest ministers in uh, Alaji Tafabalewa's government. And, uh, and you know, I, I do not know him that closely because in fact the difference is much. He is a minister, I'm only a staff officer, a uh, middle peace officer at the um, headquarters. Some people will say uh, if the soldiers have not come, there will not have been civil war. Um, maybe they are right, maybe they are wrong. But we might also say that the soldiers that have come, which unfortunately, or fortunately, it depends on which side of the argument you are, uh, have made civil war happen, but also those who ended the civil war and are the end of the day, uh, lay the foundation of democracy. The Saturday, 7th July 1979, will mark the beginning of a new epoch in the history of Nigeria. As such, all Nigerians who have both owe it a duty to weigh very carefully the issues at stake at these elections before casting their votes. I remember very well that it is nobody who initiated it. It was President Shagari himself who decided that he was going to have a woman as the vice president. And he nominated a lady from Onicha. The election was very hotly contested uh, between the five political parties then. Uh, but of course, President Shagari emerged as the winner of the presidential election. On behalf of our three political parties, and in the name of the vast majority of the people of Nigeria, we reject in its entirety We reject in its entirety and without any reservation whatsoever the declaration of the Alhaji Shegu Shagari as president-elect. 
We have decided to challenge the pedicle decision in the law courts. The truth is that many politicians did not even bother to read the constitution. They were thinking of become leader of party, secretary of party, member of parliament, become main governors or president. Whereas a lot of delicate things were in the constitution, particularly the amendment with the military interjected. So that's how the matter went on. And I have a network throughout the country. There was no part of Nigeria I haven't got a network through the various uh, means. And I've gotten the vote and the result of the election throughout the country. In fact, I was having the result of the election ahead of the FEDECO. Using my own political party machine is not anything extraordinary, it's anything anybody should have done. Peace and stability and prosperity in Nigeria we have a great deal of potential. Uh, and this potential could be put to the best use, not only of Nigeria, but of Africa in general.